I came to choose being a commercial litigator uh, because I enjoy the strategic problem solving and, and creative aspect involved. Rarely is there a black and white situation in litigation. Often it deals with areas of gray, particularly once it reaches my desk. There's lots of shades of gray, context, and perspective. And so then I have the ability to apply strategy, um, creative thinking outside of the box to come up with successful legal solutions for my client. And I think that's a great way to spend my day. I think I bring a practical approach um, to my legal counsel to my clients. Litigation isn't following a step-by-step -step process in each matter. It's sitting down with the client and figuring out what is their end game and goal and how is it best to get there. And often that may mean an aggressive litigation strategy. Sometimes it may mean calling up the other side and saying, let's get in a room and figure this out. I, I've never heard a client say that they enjoy the litigation process, so it's all about getting to the end result. And I think I, I think about that critically and practically for the client. We're quite collaborative at, uh, in our litigation department. We're often popping into each other's offices and running ideas by one another. Is this amazing or is this crazy? Um, but there is one particular instance where it was a, a quite a collaborative team approach. It was a large litigation matter and we had a team of approximately 10 lawyers on it. And it was a very short time frame imposed by the uh, panel. And what that meant was work turnarounds were very short time frames. Um, so it meant everyone had to jump on board and, and pitch in. And I recall this one instance where we had a, a significant motion right before Christmas. It was terrible timing. <laughs> and uh, days to write briefs. And ultimately, we were, um, the client was ordered to produce records within nine days. And those nine days encompassed Christmas and New Year's. So everyone on the team um, went into the boardroom and ensured we met that deadline. We all spent time in that room over those nine days, Christmas and New Year's. And uh, there was no hierarchy. We each collaborated. We um, uh, were a team that equally pitched in in every way. And we took that same approach to every other aspect of that file. And it kind of sounds like a sad and pathetic story right now over Christmas and New Year's. But I can tell you that having gone through that experience, um, we developed a sense of, of loyalty and commitment amongst those team members that still exist to this day, uh, even though that, that matter has passed. So formally, I um, am on the board of Alberta Lawyers Assist, which is a phenomenal organization that helps Alberta lawyers and their families in, in, in tough times. And I um, informally mentor um, and volunteer in the, the community. Um, I find that volunteer activity keeps me connected to the community, keeps me connected to life. Uh, I feel fortunate in my life, although I've worked hard. I feel that uh, life has been good to me and I want to I wanna make life better for others. Um, but a particular soft spot in my heart is um, in both my professional and personal life, just mentoring uh, young adults um, and getting them to think about big ideas and big dreams and pursuing um, big things that maybe I didn't have the confidence to do when I was younger. And um, you know, talking about big things and dreams and youth keeps me young, which is a good thing. <laughs> uh, so when I first st started out in litigation, I was actually, uh, had a bit of a difficult time. I found that the conflict and confrontation that oftentimes is involved in the litigation was difficult for me. I didn't feel like I was good at um, some of the posturing um, that went on. Uh, and then I started work with a senior member of our litigation team. And I noticed that in every situation, he took the high road and was a complete gentleman. If someone wrote a letter to him saying, questioning his integrity or intelligence, he replied with, thank you for your letter. Um, and everyone I, 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 I raise his name to, including ex-supposing counsel, has only positive things to say about him. And I think that's quite an accomplishment to be a litigator with no enemies. And I strive to follow in his footsteps, which ultimately makes me happier too.